It all started with us, the cavemen. Since day one, our people have always been where the action is. Sure, maybe not front and center, but if you're enjoying your modern civilization, you might want to send us a little thank you now. We're not that hard to find. We're right here beside you. We're really not that different from you. Just a little better looking. Ladies, next up we have one of our favorites here, Sweet Rain Jefferson and his purposefully incompetent soft shoe performance. Snap it up, people, snap it up, snap it up. Nick, I am so impressed by you. You are so good up there. Thanks, Andy. Hi, Rannon, how are you? Can I have a hummus rep, please? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> by the by, comp. What? Did you hear that, Joel? I've never had anything comped in my life. Ooh, look at those bodacious lady lumps. I just want to crawl right down into that cleavage and live there like a little baby mouse. Style it down, Joel. Come on, I'm a single guy again. I mean, I'm just hanging with the boys, right? Scoping babes, talking a little nasty. <laughs> Thorn. Thorne is incessant with these booty calls. It's not awkward for me at all that you're hooking up with my ex-girlfriend's roommate. Dude, what is your name doing on this list? I thought it'd be kind of a kick to get up there and sing a song. Since when do you sing? I've always wanted to sing. Yeah, just remember in high school when I, I, I practiced and I practiced so I could get into Pirates of Penzance? Then it came time for the audition and I, I chickened out and I didn't even go. Well, that was the old Joel, all right? The uptight Joel. But this is the new Joel. Woo! <laughs> I am the very model of a modern major general of information, vegetable, and animal, and mineral. Dude, I'm going to call the bouncer. That is why. Ugh. Nick is so lucky. What a rush to be up on that stage and have the audience just eating out of your hand. I wish I could do something like that. Something that'll really set me apart. What? I think you're so cool and so different. No, I'm not. I'm, I want to be more, you know? I'm an accountant. And, and it's a great, it's a fantastic career, but it's not exactly like people get excited to meet me. Well, then why don't you give it a shot? What? Nick's open mic night. I mean, you are very funny. That anchor man thing that you do. <laughs> you know, that's true. I'm Ron Burgundy. You stay classy, San Diego. <laughs> I love scotch. Scotchy, scotch, scotch. <laughs> See, you're funny. He's funny because he can remember lines from movies? No, it's the way that he says them. Oh, you mean like the original actor, but not as good. You're just jealous because you didn't think of it. Neither did he. Oh, you'll see. Andy's going to do your open mic night. Are you kidding me? The stage at the Dirty Bird is a forum for innovative artistic expression. It's not the Chuckle Hut in Pomona. I think Nick Hedge might be a little threatened by Andy Claybrook. Fine. You want to go and make a fool of yourself? You be my guest. But just remember, what I do up there may look easy, but it is a high wire act. Is it an evil high wire act? <laughs> OK, you have to stop. I'm really going to be. Then why don't you go to the bathroom and urinate like a big girl? You don't have to be mean to her. Well, I cannot wait to watch you crash and burn and bomb and die. All righty, then. It's from The Mask. Uh, it's from Ace Ventura. You know what? I do miss going to bed with a woman. What I don't miss is waking up with one. I mean, cuddling with old dragon breath? No thanks. Uh, Joel, FYI, you know, I washed my comforter twice, but it still smells like Kate and her stripper perfume. Good morning, Joel. Good morning. Why didn't you warn me? I tried to tell you. I said FYI. Why are you guys whispering in front of Thorn, Kate's roommate? This place is cool, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like stripper cool. Uh, by the way, I use the word stripper to mean awesome. Yeah, it's just this kind of new thing I'm trying out lately. Yeah, you, you might have heard me say it before about things that I love. Like, man, I, I love the stripper beer. Joel, I heard what you said. About? Stripper perfume. Oh, and uh, dragon breasts. Dragon breasts? No, no, I said dragon breath. How, how could somebody have dragon breasts? I don't know. They could be, like, dragon on the ground. You can relax. I didn't tell her. 
Oh, thank God. You know, it's not a big deal. Kate says stuff about you, too. Like what? Just stupid stuff, you know? Joel dresses like a high school math teacher. Stuff like that. Ah. No, no, no biggie. Just all in good fun, I'm sure. Kate! Oh, hey, Joel. Hey, Kate. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. You look good. Do I? All right. Well, you've come to expect a certain level of sophistication here at the Dirty Bird, but sometimes we have to lower those standards. So, welcome to the stage, Andy Claybrook. Hey, hi, hey. I'm Andy. And you know what I'm going to do? Whatever I feel like doing, gosh. <laughs> it's a throat. That's from Napoleon Dynamite, the movie. <sighs> it was the most humiliating moment of my life. You poor baby, you set off a real stink bomb. Yeah. Do not go in there. Woo! Where? No, it's Ace Ventura. Oh. It's supposed to be funny. Oh, is it? Yeah. Got another load for you. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Joel, so much for helping out with the clothing drive. Oh, my pleasure. Hot dog. I've hit the mother load. I'm going to kick me some junior league ass. Well, everything must go. I'm in the process of updating my look. And not a moment too soon. For the homeless of San Diego. You know, I didn't know that there were so many different shades of khaki. Are y'all colorblind? Because you know dogs are. You understand we're not related to dogs. Oh, look, is this the boxy jacket with the great big shoulder pads? It is. I've heard of it, but I didn't believe it really existed. Wait, wait, has Kate been mocking my sport coat? No. She was saying how very handsome that you looked in it. OK, Andy, come on. Get up. Be a love monkey. Help me carry this out to my car. Right. I can't be funny. I might as well be. Lifty. Oh, come on, Andy. Don't beat yourself up. Look, it was your first time. And my last. I'm an accountant. It's all I'll ever be. I just wanted to taste the applause, you know, just once. Come on. Even the best comics bombed when they were first starting out. If they'd just given up, we wouldn't have Jerry Seinfeld or George Carlin or Bill Cosby. I think I just found one of Dr. Cosby's old sweaters. Oh, uh, I was actually meaning to keep that. Oh, no. No, Andy, look, okay, the thing with those guys is that their comedy was funny because there was truth in it. You know, they, they drew material from their own lives. I could do that. I have a life. Plenty of funny stuff happens to me. Do you remember the time I was wearing that gray shirt and that guy thought I was the mailman and he gave me a letter to mail? And then I just said, what the hell, and I mailed it? Situational humor. I get it. You're a genius. True to life, that's good. I'm gonna write that stuff down. He's toast. Yeah. You know the one thing I hate about going to restaurants is like when the waiter comes over you and he's like, are you still working on that? And you're like, it's not my vocation, it's Shrimp Louie. <laughs> anyway, the next performer coming to the stage, I warned him and you scorned him, yet here he is once again. Please welcome the persistently terrible Andy Claybrook. Hey, everybody. Good evening. I'm Andy. So who here has a weird family? I know I do. I was up in Kelseyville. There's a little uh, caveman enclave up there at this family reunion, and uh, it was insane. My grandmother is this really great cook, and she won't let anybody in the kitchen. So my Uncle Rod, he's not the sharpest tool in the shed. He's like, oh, are you hungry? Well, me want to eat food. <laughs> oh, food. Oh, food. Oh, food. <laughs> so my grandma's like, there's brownies out on the patio. So Rod goes out there. He's like, mm, brownies. And I look out there. He's got a wood chip in his mouth. And I'm like, Rod, you can't eat wood. And he's like, smelled like food to me. <laughs> Why is that funny? Wood good. <laughs> Rod thought the key lime was a grape and he put the whole thing in his mouth. Ooh, ooh, ooh sour! sour. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm gonna try that tonight. How can you not see how offensive this is? Oh, come on, Nick. Like, you've never once done the stupid caveman voice? Yes, of course I have, when it's just us. But Andy is doing it in public. I'm not imitating all cavemen. I'm just doing Uncle Rod. And he sounds like that. Oh! You remember the time he ate that frog? Oh, oh slimy! <laughs> oh, you man. gotta put that in. That is gold. That is so going in. You know what? I should have never let you up on stage. When people come to my show, they expect a certain level of intelligence. This is so beneath my audience. Okay, you know what? I figured it out. What's bothering you is that your audience is slowly becoming my audience, and you can't handle it. I'm getting all the laughs, getting all the applause, and I'm getting all the free hummus and paninis I can eat. They're comping you paninis? Yeah, I had one last night. It was delicious. Prosciutto, arugula, and goat cheese. Damn you, Andy. I don't have time for this. I have to work on my act. Kate and Thorne are coming tonight, and I want to shine. Whoa, whoa, Kate's coming? Oh, man, okay. Uh, I gotta get some cool clothes. What, what mall is Structure at? The same mall that sells snap bracelets and DeLoreans.